You've probably been using an iPhone for years, but I guarantee you don't know at least half of the features in this video. And the best part is you don't need an iPhone 16 or iPhone 17 Pro for this. Most of these features work on our old iPhones too. So let's jump right in. Let's start with a very important privacy and security feature that most iPhone users completely ignore. By default, when your iPhone is locked, anyone can swipe down and access things like control center, notifications, and even system controls. That means someone can turn on airplane mode, disable Wi-Fi, or access other features without unlocking your phone. Here is what to do. Go to the settings, scroll down and tap Face ID and Passcode. Enter your iPhone passcode, scroll down to allow access when locked. From here, turn off Control Center, Notification Center, Siri, Reply with Message, Wallet, Return Missed Calls. This simple change makes your iPhone much more secure. The next one is perfect if you have kids or if your iPhone is often in someone else's hands. By default, swiping left on the lock screen opens the camera instantly. That sounds useful, but kids can accidentally take hundreds of photos and videos without you realizing it. Go to the settings, scroll down and tap camera. Scroll down until you see lock screen turn off, swipe to open camera, that's it. Now swiping left on the lock screen won't open the camera anymore. Next up, most people don't even know this menu exists. On the lock screen, you see the flashlight and camera, but you don't have to keep them there. Tap and hold on the lock screen, tap customize, choose lock screen, and remove flashlight or camera. Tap the plus icon and add calculator, dark mode, alarm, shortcuts, the list is long. Scroll and choose what is useful for you. Next up, this is one of the best privacy features on iPhone, and almost nobody uses it. If you give your iPhone to someone to view one photo or like use any app or see something in your iPhone, guided access locks the phone to that screen only. To enable it, go to the settings, accessibility, guided access, turn it on. Set it passcode or face ID, let's use it. Open an app, swipe down to open control center. Now I've added guided access to here already. Tap on it. Now it will start. To change the settings, you can triple press the side button, tap guided access. You can disable touch buttons, motion, and even deleting. To exit, triple press again and enter your passcode. And that's it. This one is powerful, but dangerous for many users. Go to the settings. Face ID and passcode and scroll down to erase data. If this is on, your iPhone erases everything after 10 wrong attempts. For most people, this should be off. Yeah, keep it off. It is better. Next one, hiding photos isn't enough. Let's make it even more skew. First hide photos normally in the photos app, then go to the settings and scroll down to the apps and search for photos. Turn off show hidden album. Now the hidden folder disappears completely from photos to step protection much better. If you take a lot of photos, this will save you tons of time. Open the photos, tap search and type words like table, car, food or documents. iPhone uses AI to recognize objects and even text inside photos. No scrolling, just search. You can hide full home screen pages without deleting apps. Tap and hold on the home screen, tap edit and edit pages and check any page you want to hide tap done apps are hidden not deleted and you can bring them back anytime if you have many pages on your iphone scrolling one by one can be slow and annoying there is a little known trick to move between pages much faster on your home screen look at the dots at the bottom you know those little page indicators Instead of swiping slowly, tap and hold on the dots. Now slide your finger left or right. You'll see all the pages move quickly. This is super helpful if you have five, six, or even 10 pages of apps. I use this all the time. It saves a lot of scrolling and makes my phone feel faster. Number 10, did you know you can move several apps at the same time instead of dragging them one by one? Not only moving them, you can remove them from the home screen by this. Now tap and hold one app until it wiggles without lifting your finger. Tap other apps you want to move. 
They will stack together like a little group. Now drag them to another page or all the way to your app library. This is perfect for cleaning your home screen quickly. For example, I cleaned two full pages of apps in under a minute with this trick. Let's move to the next one. Sometimes you download an app, but it doesn't show up on your home screen. This can be confusing for beginners. Go to the settings, then home screen. Look for the section newly downloaded apps. Choose add to home screen. From now on, all your downloaded apps will appear automatically. No more hunting in the app library. This is one of my favorite customization tips. It makes the iPhone home screen cleaner and easier to see. Tap and hold anywhere on the home screen, edit, and then customize. You'll see an option for large app icons. You can also enable a darker background. With bigger icons and a darker backdrop, the app visuals pop out more and it's easier on your eyes, especially at night. Sometimes you go deep into settings. Maybe you're in Wi-Fi, network, advanced options. Okay, swiping back page by page can take time. Simply tap and hold the back arrow at the top left corner. You'll see a list of all the previous pages you visited. Tap the one you want to jump straight there. This trick is a huge time saver. I use it when checking settings for battery, Wi-Fi or app permissions. Long pressing apps isn't just for moving them. Many apps give you instant shortcuts to save time. App Store, tap for updates, immediately go to the updates section. For the settings, tap for Wi-Fi, mobile data, or battery. One tap, no digging through menus. It's perfect if you're in a hurry. Next up, typing on iPhone can be frustrating when you want to correct a word. Here is a simple trick. Tap and hold the space bar, slide your finger left or right to move the cursor freely. You can place it exactly where you want. I use this constantly, much faster than tapping letters repeatedly. Next, want to add a new keyboard or change a setting without digging through menus? Now here's what to do. Tap and hold the globe icon on your keyboard, a menu pops up, select keyboard settings. From here, you can add or remove keyboards, enable features or adjust preferences. This is especially handy for people who switch between languages often. Here again, if you type the same phrases all the time, like emails, addresses, or even a signature, text replacement will save you a lot of time. Go to the settings, general, and keyboard, and text replacement. Tap to create a shortcut. For example, type double add and it autofills your email. Another example, double P fills your home address or maybe your password. It's fast, smart, and especially useful if you send a lot of messages or emails. Next up, tired of typing your Apple ID password every time? Yeah, go to the settings, face ID and passcode, enable iTunes and App Store, and even for the purchases. Now, a glance at your phone is enough to approve downloads or purchases. This is another underrated feature. Whenever you log into apps or websites, safe passwords appear automatically. Face ID authorizes them instantly. No typing, fast and secure. I personally use this every day. It saves minutes every time I log in somewhere. The last one, did you know you can scan documents directly from the Notes app? Tap and hold the Notes app, choose scan document, capture the page, crop and rotate it if needed. Save it as a PDF inside Notes. No extra apps required, perfect for bills, school papers, or receipts. And that's it, guys. If you learned at least one new iPhone feature, hit the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe for more iPhone tips like this one. I'll see you in the next one.